Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Petra and today I am going to be doing this hair look. So this is going to be using a flat iron and I got this idea also from sarahb.h on Instagram and she is so adorable. You have to go check out her videos, her YouTube videos and her Instagram. She lives here in Portland, Oregon as well and I just love looking at her posts. She puts these like really cute music to her videos and she's just really super adorable and I think is even coming out with her own hairline or I don't know some sort of hair products as well so um, other than that I want to do more ideas myself you guys mentioned in the comments below or a couple of you did I think about doing hair tutorials but you know just love those pixie hair styles out there there is actually so much you can do and I'm hoping I can come up with some more fun ideas so last thing and then I promise I'll quit blabbing thank you guys so much for participating in the giveaway that I just had um, that went to Emily ever after and so congratulations Emily I'm so excited that you won the palette it sounds like you have been really wanting that palette so I was really happy that you won so thank you everybody for being here I will have more giveaways in the future I hope I hope I keep making it to the next level and the next level and then I do like to give back to people that are just here and helping me grow a little bit in this little community that I have so much appreciated and I am really excited that you guys are here. So now I'm gonna quit blabbing and let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, you guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my maybe one and a half inch, I think this is about my one and a half inch flat iron. This one is my little small one. This one's probably about a half inch one. I usually use the smaller one when I am doing like when my hair's shorter. Uh, right now my hair is kind of getting grown out a little bit so I usually like using the larger flat iron for when it gets I don't know it's like about it's that long I mean that's pretty long really for me I just kind of like to go all sorts of different lengths with my short hairstyle <laughs> so you know that's the pixie in me just let's try this or let's try that what kind of pixie look do I feel like this time anyway so I'm gonna go in with this larger one this time I feel like the waves look a little better. They don't look quite as kinky when I use that, when I use this one. So I'm just gonna go in and then I just kind of smooth it first once through and then I will just kind of curl it and get these little like wavy kind of pieces here. So, and I just do that kind of all over my head. I just kind of grab little random parts and I just kind of smooth it and then make this little like, it just adds a little bit more body. And it just, it's really quick too normally. I mean, I'm kind of talking and doing this, but like normally like if I'm doing this, it really doesn't take super long in the morning. a little bit and then the back and then the backs can be the back for me can be kind of annoying sometimes because I have what's called this like it's like a little whirl back there that's what my stylist tells me is it's like a little whirl she's always like it's cute and I'm like mm, it's annoying because it makes me look like I have a bald spot sometimes I just don't like it sometimes especially when I turn around and I like look at the back of my hair and, and it's like kind of like whoa it's like this big little spot there but it's funny because I have the little whirl and my sister actually has what's called a cowlick which I don't know how they came up with the term cowlick like is it supposed to be the cow licked its calf at birth and now it has like a weird like I don't know look it does it looks like a big like tongue like of a you know of a cow I think that's how it kind of got its name which I know sounds maybe kind of crazy or you guys know what I'm talking about but it came from something like that where the mother is supposed to have licked the forehead or something <laughs> So 
my sister has like this kind of like fun, I don't know, I think it's it's like, I'm sure it drives her crazy because her hair doesn't lay flat there. She got that and then I got the whirl. And I don't know what's worse. I already have really fine hair. Like, I think I'm gonna be one of those ladies that you can see through to their scalp. Like, I'm already just mentally preparing that I am going to be one of those ladies that you can see through, <laughs> like see my scalp through my hair basically. So it's all right. I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna try and embrace it. I'm gonna try and embrace it. I'm just finishing this up here and I just love this. Yeah, this, this is definitely, so honestly I have to tell you, I already tried to film this video and I used my smaller, I used this one and it was not, it just didn't work it was like causing the waves to be too kinky and it was really weird looking and it really bothered me this one already is doing a much better job on like giving me kind of these fun like waves for my hair so you know some days you just have good filming days and other days you have just crappy filming days and I'm sure other people who YouTube and film totally get it it's just like life you know sometimes we have really good days sometimes we have really bad days and it's like life is always in a flux it's never going to be in you know the, this state of just balance because balance is i heard this phrase once balance is bullshit. and honestly i believe it it is like if your life is balanced then there's some sort of bull going on so that is kind of what we have so far. And I've noticed in the past, I've played with it too much and then I've kind of ruined it. But right now it's actually doing pretty good. So then I will go in with this product. And once again, it's the Davines line and it's this one. And this one is called, well, it doesn't have a name. And that's what's annoying about this product. It doesn't have a name. It says, this is a medium hold pliable paste. It's for thick, invisible effects. So I really like this because it's lightweight and I have really fine hair. So once again, me and my fine hair, I try to make it look as full as possible. So this one doesn't weigh my hair down. I'll just go in with about that much on my finger and even maybe a little less. That was probably a little bit. I'm gonna wipe off just a touch of that. And then what I'll do is I'll just kind of like take it and I'll just kind of like smooth out some of these little waves in my hair and then I'll kind of piece out like this part and I'll just kind of like kind of just like form the curls a little bit more so they stay or they're they're a little more um, defined I guess kind of a little gentle process I just kind of you know keep moving the waves or the hair kind of to how I want it to look back I'll just kind of like take the remainder of what's on my fingers and I'll just kind of like piece it out like and then these little baby hairs if you have them I don't know if they drive you crazy but they drive me a little bit crazy at times all right guys so this is pretty much it this is the finished hair look and this is kind of how the back looks you know it's as best as I can do with the whole whirl thing so then the last thing that I do is just give it a little bit of a finishing spray and this I'm going to try and find something else after I'm done with it but this is the Garnier Fructis uh, Full and Plush Volume Hairspray and I like this one. It's really light weight so once again I really like lightweight products that don't weigh my hair down. This one says like anti-humidity so if you live in the south maybe this is a good product but I don't like it that it's not cruelty free so I am once again going to try and find something that is maybe a cruelty free brand but so then after so just so everything stays in place I will just kind of give it one final spray and kind of you know place anything else that I feel like might be a little bit you know out of place or you know fixed hairs here and there but that is it so that is it you guys that is the finished flat iron slight wave 
kind of look that I do for my pixie hair. I kind of like get bored and like to find new things, so I'm sure that like other pixie gals, ladies out there, like to find new things as well. So anyways, you guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, whatever it is. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!